Guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to talk about power solutions. When you're flying your drone, you need to be able to run your battery charger, your LiPo charger. Maybe you have some type of DJI chargers you wanna run on there as well. Uh, maybe you wanna charge up your phone, your laptop, things like that when you're out in the field. And over the past few years, you guys have seen me do some power bank reviews. I've done a bunch of little tiny, tiny portable ones for just cell phone and laptop charging. I've also done the much larger ones. This one will run a refrigerator for about two weeks. It's a 2000 watt Energizer uh, PPS2000W. Uh, this one started out around $2,000 and they discounted it down to like $1,299 I think right now, which is a crazy awesome deal for that. So it just really depends on what you wanna do. This one kind of stays at home. It's a great backup source for power if the power goes out here. I've got a backup generator and it replaced my Honda 2000i. I used to use that for my camper trailer. It would run my AC in the middle of the summer. I think this one would probably do the same thing, but it's huge. Uh, I hate to even look at it because I think I'm gonna throw my back out every time I pick this thing up. This one is a mid-size charger. These usually come in around a thousand watt. This will pretty much do anything. It won't run like your refrigerator, but it will run small appliances like a coffee pot if you're going camping and things like that. And then there's this little guy that I got recently, the Browery, Browey PNS300. This one says it can run things like small appliances, charge up a laptop, 100 charges on a phone. It'll run my DJI Avada charger here for those batteries and my LiPo charger. Uh, and it also says it's gonna run a rice cooker at 60 watt hour for uh, four hours. So I'm interested to see if it'll charge lipos, cook me some rice, and uh, charge up my phone and my laptop. Maybe we should do all those things at once if we can with a power strip. We'll see how much this little guy can handle. Uh, but the point of this video is not such big power, but like, see, like just having this one out for a day, something to bring along. It's a little smaller. I can just throw it in the car and go out for a day of flying uh, with something a little easier to, to carry along for our trip. Let's, uh, let's check this one out. All right, so first of all, this one comes in at 199, which I do like. It is 300 watt on the smaller side of the watt scale where I'm really looking at. A lot of times I'm looking at 1000 watt or higher, uh, just the kind of person I am. Um, and this one kind of caught me off guard because I realized it'll run my LiPo charger and it's a lot more portable than my really super big ones. Um, this one does have a few different options on the front. It has AC and DC options here. You can turn that on and off if you don't want to use them or have them active. Uh, you'll see that my phone stopped charging right there and the Avada battery. If I want to turn that back on, I just click those buttons and they turn on. And it also has a voltage and watt display on the very front which is pretty cool. It shows us how much wattage we're putting in right now with this charge. We have a, a charger plugged into the wall right now. And, you know, I, I drained it down to about 98% charging some batteries earlier. It also shows me the DC out, the percentage of the whole battery here, uh, as well as my volts there. I have 110 volts at 60 hertz there, as well as pulling out uh, on the AC side of things at 17 watts. So right now, the things that I'm running uh, we're, we're outputting around 17 watt. I have a power strip over here and I can plug more things in. It does have an AC port right here and it has a car port right there for a 12 volt. If you decide you need to run one of those types of things, they have little coffee makers and things that run on 12 volt. It's pretty cool. And it also shows some temperature gauges down here as well for, I believe that's Celsius on the big side of things, around 25 Celsius and right around 60 degrees on the very bottom it has fahrenheit here and on the back side there's nothing on the back side there is this strap right here which has kind of some leather here and some nicely kind of like gunmetal color fancy coating on these uh, clips right here which is kind of nice but shoulder strap not really necessary the handle is pretty nice it feels solid and i feel like this is not necessary either like the bra around the middle it, it only provides like a little bit of a pocket right here. The magnet's not super strong. Um, and when I put the USB cable folded up in there, the magnet will not clip together. So I think it should be like a traditional clip instead of a magnet. But let's go ahead and plug in some other things now. Let's see if we can tap this thing out. And let's check out how many watts we're pulling out of the AC. So there's uh, up to 57 to 75 watt right there, 89. Uh, still going up to 100. This base right here from Apple, must really pull a lot of watts uh, up to 
right around it's leveling off at about 100 to 109 watts. Now we'll go ahead and plug in the LiPo charger that's plugged in. Let's turn that baby on. This one is my favorite charger this year. And that powered on and right now it looks like we're still at around 100 watt. Just want to make sure that we're still charging on the laptop. Laptop's still charging. The Avada battery's charging. I'm charging my phone. And now we have the LiPo going, uh, LiPo chargers going. So let's go ahead and make this one do its thing. So we're on channel two here. I'm going to go ahead and set it up for Lion. This is a 6S Lion. Uh, you know, and this one has four ports. We could get four batteries charging at once on here. I'm going to go ahead and ramp up the current to about three amp um, and just start out right there and see how that works out. So we're going to go ahead and start charging now and let's watch the wattage go up. So it says charge up to 24.6 volt. Let's do it. Um, and let's see what that watt gauge does. Okay, so it looks like it maxed out at about 111 watts. So, I mean, we can bring this up to 300 watts. So I feel like we should just go ahead and plug in the rice cooker as well. So we're charging the laptop, the phone, the Avada battery, and we're charging a LiPo or a Lion pack over here. And I know some people are gonna be like, hey, yeah, but you have it plugged into the wall. So we're gonna go ahead and unplug the DC charge port right there or the AC charge port and just get this charger out of the way. And let's see if those changed any the output on the ac is still at around 100 watt um, and this one's charging right now i set it to like three amp right here uh, for that lion pack let's just go ahead and get some water and throw into the rice cooker and let's go ahead and set it to fire it up now this is a 650 watt rice cooker um, so i'm wondering if this thing can handle this one. This is not your average rice cooker. It's more like a restaurant quality style one um, that uh, one of my favorite chefs uses. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to, let's just set it to, let's set it to white rice here. Okay, white rice. And it plays this cute little song when we start the cooking process. And all you do is hit the button cook. And now we're going to watch these wattages come up. So right there, we set off the alarm. Too much stuff, input voltage. So it turned off the LiPo charger. And let's see, it's still charging the Avada, still charging the phone. And let's turn back on AC by itself. Up, oh, tripped it again. So here, I'm not even trying to cook the rice. Um, but yeah, if you have a rice cooker that's under 300 watts, I don't know if they make one, but uh, this one at 650 will not run on this charger with everything else. So I think we should try to run some other appliance here. So that fast charge is done on that battery. I'm going to have to grab another one. So just to stress this thing out further, I, I know what's going to happen. I know this coffee pot's probably not going to be able to run with everything else that we have charging, AC and the DC output. But, you know, sometimes you just want that extra cup of coffee and you just want to, uh, you know, top it off put a little extra coffee on top of the coffee you already made this morning. Maybe your wife like drank the last cup. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put that in there, put the craft down here and let's just set it to brew. And I guarantee it's going to trip it again. Turning it on. I'm going to watch those Watts over. They went to 256 watt, 264 watt over here. Okay. So right now it's holding. So I wonder, can it make me coffee? charge lipos, charge my phone, charge the DJI Avada and my laptop at the same time. Let's see if anything starts to happen here. Okay, I heard the fan kick on inside the 300 watt uh, power bank there. And that's the max that we can get. So if it gets around 300 watt or more, it's going gonna, it's gonna to automatically turn itself off. So very interesting. Like I'm maxing it out right now. And I didn't expect that this would actually work. Uh, I thought it would just trip it immediately. But that's cool. It seems like it's hanging out right around 265 watt in that range. 110 volts, of course. That is pretty cool. And it's not plugged into the charger right now. So right now it's running all this stuff like standalone. I think I hear the percolator starting to, to work right there. That's freaking awesome. 
All right, so I hear some bubble in there. It's starting to make me coffee. Just checking my wattage, 265 still, 267. I expect that to pick up when this like heating element starts to, to heat up on the coffee pot. 265, 263, 264. That's actually not bad. I, I never expected that, you know, I've tried other power banks in the past to try to run a coffee pot while I'm out camping. Like my holy grail of a power bank for me is to be able to make a cup of coffee in my van uh, when I'm out camping and flying. Be able to some, charge some batteries and make a cup of coffee. I'm good, man. That's all I need. So, I mean, this little guy is making coffee inside there. Um, that's awesome. This is a full-size coffee pot. I had actually bought a smaller little Mr. Coffee one with a little bit, it pulls less wattage than like a full size <laughs> Cuisinart coffee pot does. And that one I used for a little while in the van, but sometimes, I mean, you have more people with you and you wanna make a full pot of coffee. So I, I'm, I'm impressed that this guy is actually doing all this at once right now. So the LiPo is still, the Lion's still charging over here. My phone's still being charged. And the Avada battery's still going and the laptop as well that is pretty impressive for a 300 watt uh, power bank and it, and it says in the directions it says that this thing can be charged up to like 3500 cycles so i i think that's pretty decent too uh it does weigh around 3.7 kilograms and size it says it's around 310 by 99 millimeters by 260 the material is uh, the battery material inside. It's not running Lions inside here, uh, so it's a little more safe. It's L I F E uh, P O four lithium iron phosphate batteries in this one. Um, so yeah, and the only thing, uh, the only other thing it really has is a light on this side. And you know, even though it only has one AC port on here, you can run a power strip. I don't know if I can get the light to turn on. So yeah, there's the light. Um, the light's turning on. And so say if I was doing all this in the dark, I would now not be doing it in the dark. All right, so I'm going to come over here and let's check out this little bit of coffee that it's made so far. Uh, I don't want to keep you here forever, but you can see that, yep, it has made me coffee. I'm just going to check that the burner's hot. Yep, right next to my Lion. How you like that? Making coffee right next to a charging Lion pack, a 8,000 size pack, but let me test that out. Mm, that's warm. That's awesome. So, okay, you know, it made me happy because it does basically all the things that I wanted to do for like 200 bucks. I, I wanted to hate this thing, uh, mainly because it kind of looks like a, a little hipster looking thing with this sort of bra it has in the middle um, you can take this off it it does have a couple clips on this back side if this bothers you i mean it doesn't really bother me it's just kind of kind of you don't really need it unless you're going to use that little pocket on there so 200 bucks uh it made me a coffee it charges my batteries and i i wanted to hate it i actually did want to hate it um but i don't hate it and that's my unbiased opinion uh, you can check this one out in the link down below if you want to make some coffee, charge your laptop, and charge some batteries out in the field. Um, yeah, this one's going with me on the trip that we're taking soon with the kids. So um, yeah, and I'm probably going to use this as my daily charger power bank when I'm out, power bank setup when I'm out in the field because I always need to charge more batteries when I'm flying for you guys. But I hope you learned something in this video and you're entertained by it. Uh, if you enjoyed the information, please do give us a like on this video. And um, yeah, check out Browie's little portable 300 watt charger. It does more, way more than I thought it was going to do. Cheers, guys.